Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Tyroke here, aka the Light Skin Gamer, LSG, and thank you for tuning in to my review of Soul Sacrifice for the PS Vita. Now, seeing as how Monster Hunter is no longer on the PSP systems or Sony's portable uh, systems in general, basically Sony needed a answer to quench the thirst of those who love Monster Hunter on the PSP. Now, Soul Sacrifice was that answer. Did Soul Sacrifice do it the right way, or is Soul Sacrifice a completely different game from Monster Hunter? Let's go ahead and find out in this review. First off, we have is a story. Basically, through this story, you go back reading uh, in this journal your past quest with different sorcerers you met along the way. Your partner, Maguzar, which basically ended up taking over the world, and he had a weird, uh, I would have to say, ability, whatever. As he gets older, he ages at a rapid speed. He has to keep sacrificing people in order to basically keep his youth. So, he has to keep doing that, and I guess that's the reason why he took over the world. Anyway, I haven't got that far into the story, but... Throughout the game, you meet different characters and stuff like that, and you have to wipe the book's eye for this weird stuff that you get, and the game has a great uh, customization uh, feature in the game. You can change your character from male to female, different hairstyles, different faces, different costumes, all that shit. You can make your character black, white, green, purple, whatever the fuck you want. He can look however you want. But, I wish they had different hairstyles, because... I don't see braids nowhere, or blackish hair, or afro, I don't know, anyway, I, they just need a little bit more, but then at the same time, they have a very, very good number, so customization is actually spot on in this game, you can customize a lot in this game, your abilities, your offerings, and stuff like that, and this is what brings me on to the next part of the game, which is the sacrificing and saving, if you save your fallen comrade, he comes back up in the fight. But at the same time, you have to give them health. So you end up losing health, but gain a little bit and gain your uh, partner back in the fight. So it's basically all about sacrificing in this game. Sacrificing, making hard decisions, which is actually probably the best thing about this game. Now, on the other hand, if you um, sacrifice your fallen comrade, which you'll see later on, it basically is literally it fucks shit up so if you sacrifice your uh, fallen comrade they basically <laughs> turn into this weird tentacle things come out of their body and it goes up in the sky and it lays down a devastating attack on the enemies like you see right now now on the other hand if this does not kill them you go on the rest of the fight without your ally that basically you sacrifice so literally the game is all about decision making which I love now another thing about decision making there's something called black rights not black rights as in civil rights but black rights as in basically there is this system in the game wherever you're getting your ass beat you literally have the option to lay down a devastating attack that really either kills or completely cripples the enemy now here's the bad thing uh bad thing about it i sound country as fuck when i said that the bad thing about it is if you don't kill them you literally pay a huge price Literally, if you don't have enough Lackerman to actually pay, uh, undo the cost, you end up having no defense and end up being slow or you don't know what your abilities are. Whatever the price is, like skin, brain, uh, bones, or eyeball, all that stuff literally affects the game until you undo that price. And you'll literally end up dying in like three hits. But anyway, let me go ahead and move on. Next up we have is the online multiplayer. Now, online multiplayer features four-player co-op throughout the game doing different missions and or packs at higher difficulties or lower difficulties. Now, multiplayer, I had one problem, which was the fact, well, I had a couple problems. Actually, the fact is, how come we need an online pass for this game? Then again, I thought, I, well, EA stopped doing it, but other companies don't have the, uh, they have the option to stop, but I'm pretty sure they won't do it. So, online passes, I never like them and never will like them. One thing good about the multiplayer is it's actually well populated. You will not have a problem finding a game on Soul Sacrifice Online. And I have to say, the community is actually really, really good in this game. Like, I have not ran into an asshole once. And you can uh, communicate in the game by using different chats or different, uh, like pre-made messages like how are you or it's a pleasure or good fight and stuff like that instead of it being all 
fighting each other. It is more co-op, and I guess people were just more into working together. But you could have assholes that will sacrifice you if you get down. That could happen, but in all honesty, that has not happened to me yet. So. Also, I wish there was a versus mode in this game. Not saying that it needs that, but at the same time, it would really set it apart from some different games. If it had two on two fighting, I don't know if it's a secret mode or any of that, but please, I need to be able to go, I need to duke with some people real quick, get some people to duke, but I do wish that it had a versus mode, but when you actually have a lot going on in the screen, it's a hell of a lot of fun, and also, you get free DLC with this game, you get 8 different uh, DLC packs or whatever, well technically you get 10, 2 are black rights and the other 8 are um, all missions, within those missions you get 8 missions and you get 2 new bosses, do the math on that, that is 64 missions with 16 new bosses, that is a lot of replay value and you already have a lot of replay value right now, so just by, just by seeing all of that, giving out free DLC, definitely a game that I will support. A definite winner in my book. Any game that offers me free DLC and wants to keep and actually cares about the Vita and rewards us for actually buying the game, hey man, that's that's just really really good on my part. Oh yeah, and another thing, the music. That was some of the best music that I heard in a video game yet. And I just had to go ahead and show that with you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and just wrap this review up real quick. Final verdict, I would have to say Soul Sacrifice has nice gameplay, nice visuals sometimes. Sometimes areas look shitty, sometimes areas look amazing. And the music in the game is spot on. The music just really sets the tone for that dark and greedy game. And also, I, there's free DLC. You can not go wrong with free DLC. I do wish there was a versus mode, but hey, the game already has hours of replay value. It's a definite winner. The game definitely gets an 8.5 out of 10. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Go ahead and pick the game up if you haven't already. Like, comment, subscribe, and that is it, guys. Tyro Gazelle, baby.